This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bennett, and this, of course, is the ramble, and the ramble goes on until, uh, let's see here, when does it go till? Well, it goes till midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. I'm your humble and obedient host, Alex Bennett, and uh, uh, we're uh, we're here to, to have fun with you, and to, uh, we'll do the Citizens Panel in about a half hour from right now, but uh, for the time being, it's time to check in with an old friend. Okay, now here's what we, you know, we always do this with our good friend, Stephen Pearl. He always has a funny way of answering the phone, so we catch him by surprise. So let me dial it up here, and let's see what happens here. It's locking. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. When I was four years old, I was molested by Paul Tripp on the set of Birthday House. <laughs> he said he wanted to blow out my candle. And later on, I got molested by Al Malinaro on the set of Happy Days. He kept trying to blow me, but his nose kept getting in the way. Saved by the old snazzola. Ah, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. What up? Hey there, Stephen. Uh, I just thought I'd keep it topical. This year, Hollywood likes the molestation victim. Get yeah. molested. Go to Hollywood. Or go to Hollywood to get molested. Yeah. yeah. World be crazy and that's bad shit and everything. What's up? I wonder if you didn't get molested if you feel what's wrong with me. That's yeah, why I left yeah. Hollywood. I was there for 22 years. Nobody's touched me. What's wrong with me? <laughs> and I left. Wasn't I, I felt rejected. Wasn't I hot enough? You know. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm that kind of person that if, if, uh, if I went to Hollywood and they didn't try to molest me, I, I'd feel depressed because I. Oh, you know, I was just. Oh man, I was yeah. crazy like that. Oh, yeah. Well, I was, you know, I, I, I was in the theater, Steve. Uh, this is Stephen Pearl, by the way. Uh, you, I, I was in the, th- I was in the theater, and in the early days in the theater, I had, you know, I had gay directors <laughs> come on to me and so on, uh, but they never molested me. You know, they never patted me on the ass, but you you know, a star. and when they found out I wasn't, I wasn't gay, uh, I didn't get the part. No, when they found out I wasn't gay, uh, <laughs> you know, no harm, no foul. He did. They just said, okay, fine. You know, there you go. Yep, that's, there you go. That's the way of the world. What can you do? And, and, you know, I, remember, I remember once going in, there was this director who was really quite gay and I went in for rehearsal one day and he said, Hey, you're really looking good today. And I, you know, I took that as kind of a compliment because who knows better than a gay guy whether another guy looks good. There you go, you know? exactly. But I'm not, I'm not trying to diminish these women who've been put through a horrible situation. But I don't no, think, not at all. I don't think seeing Louis C.K.'s penis is anything less than hilarious. You know? No, no, no. It's just, oh man, this little little Louis, little Louis K, little Louis. <laughs> little Louis, little, little Louis B J. <laughs> well, I, I just you know, I mean, I just want to know why when he said, and he supposedly said, they said he said it, and he said he said it. Do you mind if I pull out my penis? Not one uh, of them well, said no. Oh, well, okay. Well, as long as he pulled it out before they had a chance to answer, or they all just kind of looked at each other. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, and, you know, what keeps you from turning around and leaving? And somebody said, well, you're afraid of losing your job. And I said, you know, <laughs> in this day and age, there's a thing in everything, even in a production company called uh-huh. HR, Human Resources. And if Louis C.K. tried to get you fired because you wouldn't look at his penis, you could sue the shit out of the company. Ah, uh-huh. yeah, H- his house looks nice. I like going have that. You know, there there is recourse, Okay. I, yeah. I, I just think these women stuck around and looked. That's my argument. <laughs> and then they then they gasped. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. It, well, you know, I I, I, I keep it, it, it constantly bringing this up because it, it's a classic of film, and also because it proves the point. And that's Claude Rains in Casablanca when Rick says there's gambling, and he goes gambling in Casablanca. I can't believe that. And uh, uh, and then the guy walks over to him and says, 
uh, here, here, here are your winnings, Captain Renault. You know, so uh, it, it, <laughs> it, there's this woman, Pamela Adlin, whose show I love. It's called Better Things, and it's written and produced by she and Louis C.K. And oh, they, were, they were both managed by the same guy, Dave Becky. And they've yeah. been doing stuff for years. In fact, he did an HBO show called Lucky Louie, in which she played that. she played his wife on the uh -huh. show, uh, and she was had equal billing on it. So she's been working with Louie forever. All right, they've yeah. been close, they've been tight, they are almost a team in a way. Uh, and she said, "I'm just appalled. I never knew this was going on. Come oh, on, gas. yeah, there <laughs> are, we dropped the car at gas." Who was I, I? Who was I talking to the other day? Maybe it was Bubbles who said everybody knew in Hollywood that Louis did this kind of thing that he would like pull his penis out to people, you know. <laughs> uh, and, and 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 Pamela Adlin is suddenly shocked at these revelations yeah. when she worked that closely with the guy. I, well, I, they're I, all actors, so they got to convince us. Well, I think she's no. I think she's trying to save her own fucking career. You know, yeah, and exactly. I, and, they're, and all, I, they're all whores. They're all they're all whores in Hollywood. And I've always had a lot of respect for her work, but I have a lot less respect for her as a person for turning yeah. in a guy really? who has pretty much put money in her pocket for years. Uh huh. And if if in <laughs> fact she didn't know this was going on, she was turning a blind eye to it because she had the money coming in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, thing, yeah. Oh, but I can't Put have money this in the pocket for years while he was taking something out of his pocket for years. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, FX has canceled their entire relationship with Louis C.K., but they have renewed the show she's in, which means next year she'll be doing the show on her own. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay, so well, I'm not a team anymore. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I, in a way, I... I too many people running around trying to save their ass rather than do the right thing and defend somebody yep. who's been good to them. Yep. Uh, or, or, At showbiz. Ah, there's no business like showbiz. I, I think the best answer was I saw this thing that uh, Sarah Silverman said about it, and she did this whole thing, and she said, I love Louis. Louis is in my, one of my oldest, dearest friends. And she, <laughs> so I, 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 she said, I didn't know this was going on. He never did anything with me, okay? She said, and I'm, 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 I'm sorry and appalled at this kind of behavior on his part. But on the other hand, this part of me that loves the man, and uh -huh. and and I don't, you know, I, 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 I'm very conflicted about how I should feel about this. She says, yeah. as a woman, I'm appalled by it. As a friend of Louis, I'm saddened by it. You know, yeah. yeah. And, and I yeah, thought that, that was sense. one of the best ways to do it. She didn't exactly throw him to the wolves. You know. <laughs> yeah. One of the one of the few who won't. But, but you know, I mean, all these other companies they go, oh, uh, so and so was uh, pulled his penis out. We're canceling his contract, so he loses Netflix, he loses HBO, he loses his agent, he loses boom, 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 boom. All his career is literally doesn't exist today because wow. of uh, you know a bunch, a couple of women saying he pulled his penis out. Uh, yeah. So I mean, come on. Nobody was raped. Nobody was molested. Nobody's tit was grabbed. Yeah. You know. And uh, they and I think they had the ability. Uh, I I don't care what anybody says. In spite of the fact that he was a powerful man in Hollywood. Yeah. That they had the ability to turn and walk out. And if he tried to fire him, they had recourse. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, it is kind of hard to sue or win against a very someone who's very. Rich and famous, it can be done, but it's not easy. Is uh, it's been you know tried before. So uh, you know, God, I heard those Bill Cosby stories for like eleven years before the whole thing came out. So you know, that took a long ass time because nobody wanted to go up against it because they knew they wouldn't win well, back ev then. But, everybody, you know, everybody knew about Weinstein, and when somebody would mention, oh, uh, Weinstein uh, showed up wearing his uh, his uh, what do you call it, his uh, uh, birthday suit, or you know, wearing yeah, a, oh God, wearing wearing a robe. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, it was, uh, you know, he, he wearing a robe, and uh, they go, oh, well, okay, well, that's, oh, that's, 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 that's Harvey. You know, that's oh, Harvey. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Everyone saw Harvey's dick except Harvey. My God. Well, I mean, everybody knew this about Harvey. This was common knowledge uh, in Hollywood. You know, so, yeah, you yeah. Know, people make a joke all, about all, it for all, years, and uh, but all, then it comes out into the mainstream, and he's over. But all of a sudden, you're shocked by his behavior. Wait a minute, yeah. <laughs> you know.
And that, that's why I was kind of a little mad at Pamela Adlin. I, I thought it was a little ingenuous. If she didn't know about it, then she's a really the stupidest woman in the world, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because she, she was around him all the time. I mean, apparently he uh-huh. didn't do it to her, you know? But that, yeah. doesn't, that doesn't mean it wasn't happening. It doesn't mean, I mean, there are people that I talk to that have known this about Louie for years, that he was known to do that occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He never, well, I think I heard Jack Benny used to do in front of his saying, how would you like to see my Stradivarius that he take it out? It's a well-kept you... secret, though. It was hushed up. Was that true? Oh, that's what I read. No, I don't know. Kenneth Anger told me, though, he, <laughs> drunkenly at a bar once. No, really, was that true about Jack? No, Benny? no. See, see, that could that could be true, but no, it isn't. Yeah, but you know what I yeah, worry I, about. How'd you going? How'd you going? See, Hollywood. I'm a good actor. Hire me. Don't want to me though, but hire me. I mean, what I've been yelling and screaming <laughs> about is, I'm sorry for the guys who 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 didn't do anything, you know, and are accused <laughs> and are accused of it, and the women are being believed before their before oh, yeah. them. You know, if a woman accuses you of rape. It's pretty much your proof. You have to prove you didn't rape her, and that's not American yeah. jurors' proof. Oh God! You know. Oh God! That's then, why I stay in a lot. And, and then, <laughs> then she can also accuse you anonymously. She doesn't have to be known. We have to blur sure. out her face. You know. Yep. And yep. and and so uh, and I find that part of it. I I understand why they why they said that. Why they can uh, the accuser can be kept anonymous. Is because a lot yeah. of women women would be afraid to come forward. But on the other hand, that goes it, it kind of makes it more convenient for people who want to make up a story to make up that uh-huh. story and not have to pay the price for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. Stallone, sure. Stallone was accused by some woman who went to the police and filed a report. I think it was in Las Vegas, and it turns out now that the Stallone people say. He never even heard from the police in in Las Vegas, so apparently uh, they looked at the story, they uh, you know they wrote it down, they had to, but then they looked at it and it, none of it made any sense, none of it uh, 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 and so they didn't even get a hold of Stallone. That's how much they didn't believe the story. Yeah, yes. you know, well, but yeah, was in Hollywood. But, she was in Finland when but, it happened. But yet. Everybody's going to look at Stallone now and go, hey, look, look at what he Oh, did. yeah, well, an accusation can fuck you up, even if it's not true. It's just, it'll ruin you. So well, you, know, you just got to triple check these things. If there's any question about it, then uh, the accus- there'll still be a stain there. It's all fucked up. I don't know what to do. How many accusations have ruined people, male men's careers? How many accusations have ruined females' careers? I uh, can't think of nobody, really. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, Maybe and, and I'm sure, Farmer, I <laughs> and I'm sure there are women who use their power to get laid. I'm sure. Oh, sure, without a doubt, without a doubt. There's evil women's out there. There's been enough blues songs written about it. <laughs> I'm also sick and tired of women now. Hey, eh, boy, uh, of women who constantly go, "Well, that's the way guys are. Guys are all pigs. You know, they're terrible." Listen, I got to tell you, ladies, if you're listening to me. Most guys are pretty damn decent, you know? Most guys yep. would never think of doing anything like this. Most guys are, are nicer than that. And I just think that women do not give us the credit that we deserve. I mean, they, they, you, you don't call them chauvinists because they say something like that, but they are. Uh-huh. You know, I heard one of our hosts, a uh, woman who's, who hosts one of our shows here, Last night, going, I, oh, they're all pigs. That's the reason why. And I'm going, oh, don't God. you realize you're a chauvinist? Don't you realize you're dealing in the yeah, same that's, that's, kind that's of... Yeah, that's fucked up. That's like the, uh, being a, a misogynist if you're a guy. Yeah. It ain't right. To try and, bro- you know, uh, 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 what paint guys with a broad stroke is, is, yeah, well, is, is wrong. It's just wrong. Yeah, you know, and it's genderism. It's like racist, like saying all black people do this and all white people do that, and all Jews are like this. And all right, it's the I same mean, thing. So all, you know, there's, all my, there's good people and there's pricks of all genders, races, and religions. All my life, I have been a real gentleman when it came to women. Even when I was trying to have sex with them, I wouldn't put them in a position that made them feel uncomfortable. You know, I I wouldn't do yep. anything until they shot up a flare and said "fuck me." You know. Uh, <laughs> I've always been, I think, a good guy in that respect, okay? But I'll bet there's one woman out there, and I can even think of one that might do it, who's so crazy that they would accuse me of rape. 
Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Because it's just right. you and them in a room alone, you know, and all of a sudden she's going to go run and yell rape. That and I great. believe me, I nobody could ever legitimately accuse me of ever uh, committing rape. Never. You wolf. Huh? Hey, Vey, you wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always hold the door open for a woman, even when she doesn't want to go through that door. I make her go through that door because that's that's how polite I am. Now I, you know, I can't, I can't, I, I can't argue that I wasn't a, uh, a ladies' man. That I wasn't always trying to get laid. I, but who was it? What guy wasn't? You know, it's our job. To, it's our job to inseminate the herd. Uh, Why do you think I got into comedy? Jeez. Exactly. <laughs> it's the reason I went into radio. I said I, I went into radio to get laden for the free records. And, <laughs> there you go. And I, and, and, for and, me, it was comedy for, yeah. the, for the women and the free drugs. And then I followed that up by saying, by the way, I have a great record collection. Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, it, it, but... Uh, you know, I mean, but the point is, I, I never forced myself on a woman. I never, no, you know, of course. I never well, did whatever. I even be, when I was drunk. And yet, I'm like I'm sure. And if you, you know, luckily, neither of us have careers right now. Thank God for that. I mean, to, any, to, <laughs> to any great extent where anybody would say, well, I'm going to ruin that Stephen Pearl's career, you know. Uh, Go ahead. It will be a step up. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end Alex's career. Yeah. Well, come ahead. It's, it's over with anyway. Yeah. So come ahead. Should have seen me 35. Should have seen me 35 years ago. But if we were in that position, I bet there's some woman out there. that's crazy enough to make the accusation against you. You know. Oh, without a doubt. I met, I met some crazy ones. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And and, and pro part of the problem is some of the women you meet who are like the groupie types are crazy. Mm -hmm. And I know yeah, one. Oh, that, I know that. one. This, I know one that's completely wacky. That if I were a major name today, I'm sure she would probably say I. You know, even though every time I ever had sex with her, she was the pursuer because I hated this woman. I didn't want. To have, <laughs> I didn't want to have anything to do with her. But she was one of those women. You ever meet a woman that you can't stand, but there's something about her. The minute you smell her, you gotta fuck her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know sure, what I'm saying? There, there was some kind of maniacal gleam in her eyes. There was some kind of musk she exuded. Or whatever, something, yeah, something, <laughs> and, and attracted you to the danger. Exactly, exactly. A lovely bear trap. But I hated her. She was the worst person I ever knew. She literally a terrible human being. And yet, if she got within five feet of me, I was fucking her. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> and and she was fucking me. I mean, it wasn't like I was. I jumped on her, and uh, she she f was trying to fight me off or anything like that. Yeah. No, as a matter of fact. I mentioned a story where one night I did, she wanted to have sex, and she lived in San Jose, and she didn't want to go back home, and I didn't want to have sex because I just broke up. I just broken up with my girlfriend, and 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 I just didn't want to. I I was in a, not in the mood, okay. And I said, uh, please, yep. no, I'm despondent, whatever. Well, can I stay over tonight? Yeah, sure, you can stay over tonight. And I went to sleep. Next thing I know, in the middle of the night, she's blowing me. <laughs> well, I told her I didn't want to have sex. That amounts to rape, you know? And, <laughs> hey, and I, and I remember, and then she climbed on top of me. Now, Yikes. Now, people say, well, gee, if you didn't want to have sex, then how, how come you had a boner? Guys can get a boner because it's Monday, you know, when you're young. <laughs> That's when, right. when you're young, yeah. And and she hopped on me, and I started crying. I didn't want to do it. And Ugh. so, but any time I ever told that story to people that I was raped by a woman, they didn't <laughs> they didn't they didn't believe me. Yeah, you know that's horrible. What's her number? Yeah, right. Exactly. And <laughs> and it's that same woman who I think today, if I were really famous, uh -huh. would come forward and say, oh, Alex Bennett raped me and blah, 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 because she was nuts. Oh, hey, she was nuts. You can only hope she's dead now. So when people say, well, Alex, how can you feel this way about Louis C.K.? I relate it to myself, that it could <laughs> it could have happened to me, you know. Yeah. And I've talked about oh, hey, it. I, people know this because I've talked about it on the show that, you know, one time I had a father call me up and say he got my daughter pregnant. And I said, who's your daughter? And he named the woman. I never heard of her in my life. You know, and I said, I don't know your daughter. So he hung up. 
calls back a day later and says, I have to apologize to you. I said, what for? He says, I finally got it out of her. She she just named you because she listened to you every morning. There you go. <laughs> but, you know, if, a loving, if, a loving father. if she wanted didn't want to recant that, I could have been in a lot of trouble. And they would believe yeah. her before they would believe me. Yeah. In the days before your DNA. So, you know, and I've had a few other incidents in my life which were somewhat scary, which you get accused and you didn't do anything, and finally it shows that you didn't do anything, and people are apologizing profusely, but up to that point, you're guilty. You yeah, know. that's true. Yeah. Guilty until proven innocent. So that, you yeah, know, that's, that's, that's what, you know. So, hey, it's part of life. What can you do? Let's have a beer. But in comedy, I mean, comedy, you must have met up with some crazy groupies. Oh, you better believe it. Now, I, I met a lot of them who, from on your show or from listening to your show. Right. And did you ever sure. did, did you ever have one where you were actually afraid she was going to kill you in your sleep? Uh, so, a lot of them. There's a couple where I, I feel I was going to wake up and they'd be carving their initials on my wrist. So, yeah. 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 I just want you to remember me, so you sure. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm in one piece after some of my misadventures. No, I had one that. I, hey, it was the '80s. What I, you doing? I actually, 80s. I actually had to leave because I was afraid she was going to kill me. Just, oh, just, hey, just you don't because, want that. And the voices start on her end. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, vo- get yeah, out. the voices. Get out. The voices have told me. Yeah. <laughs> Climb down that fire escape and run through the park as fast as you can. What a, you know, but so I, that that's why I I take a little more pity on Louis C.K. and what he's going through than I would normally. Well, he, yeah, it, it, it's still you know you don't you don't jerk off in front of your fans. I that's, think that's not one, look you know, what he did was impro was improper. Okay, no question yeah. about it. it you, you, there's no <laughs> argument that it was improper. Yeah, but nevertheless, uh, and and um, uh, Bill Burr said this, and he was absolutely right. He said, you know, you just can't equate what he did with what Harvey did, and yet, oh no, this- yet he's having to pay, to pay the same price. The yeah, pu- the punishment well, is the, really, it, the punishment yeah. is the same, and it shouldn't be, you know. And yeah, it, well, it's, it, yeah, different levels of per- perverseness or you know whatever it is. With a, Harvey was just a not a rapist and a bully and a horrible person, so a big hairy whale had it should go well, no, away. No, he, he, was horrible, horrible, he was such a horrible he was such a horrible person in Hollywood that he was one of those guys that everybody was waiting to see fall, and when he started yeah. when he finally started falling, nobody was there to catch him. Yeah, see you later. You Big know, boys make a hard bang when they fall. If he had been a great guy, a nice guy, good guy to everybody, and everybody loved Harvey, uh, yeah. they would all be out there saying, "Hey, you know, Harvey's got a problem. Let's, you know, they would treat him like he was an alcoholic. You know, let's get him yeah. some help." <laughs> uh, but no, they, you know, they don't. They, 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 he was a terrible person to do business yeah. with, to what deal a prick, with. What an apple. Yeah, and, like and, and and so there was nobody there to catch him when he started falling. Yeah, and uh, uh, I wonder if maybe these people will come be coming back eventually because you know Mel Gibson made a comeback, and I'd never see any of his movies, but uh, he's back. So anything yeah. can happen. I hope they don't well, for the, a while. The accus- Army, I hope never comes back. Well, another person that made it back, and I've said this before, was Woody Allen. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But if Woody Allen had been accused of exactly the same thing today, I don't think he'd have a studio. For, you know, yeah, giving him true. money, he would. I don't think he would. I don't think he was an adopted daughter, and it was consensual. So there you go. Yeah, but but nevertheless, because of the bad publicity today, that would be a, 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 just an absolute scandal, and he wouldn't be able to recover from it. He was lucky it happened yep. then, and he yeah. was the Lone Ranger. Uh, and <laughs> I said to somebody the other day, I said Cosby doesn't look so bad now, does he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least he'd knock them out before they did it, so they didn't remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> At least yeah. he had that courtesy. Yeah. God uh, bless you, Bill. Yeah, but Weinstein should have had that kind of courtesy because who wants to look yeah. at that? Uh, who wants to have that body on top of them? Oh, Jesus, keep him awake. You know, he should have knocked him out first. Oh, God, probably did with his belly. You know, with all your money, Harvey. man. Hot of a man. With all your money, Harvey, you could have at least bought a subscription to Jenny Craig, you know? <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, his fat will be boiling in hell for a long time. Yeah, wow. horrible man. But it, you know, yeah, so. But how'd you? Even feel? Steve Bannon said, "Ooh, that guy's evil." Did you feel? But I gotta tell you, did you feel a certain uh, feeling for for Louis C.K. and what happened to him? Because I, mean, uh, I didn't understand why he did what he did, but uh, you know, it was, I, I, yeah, I didn't really feel anything about it. I just thought another guy who's like huge just blowing it. You know, I don't know why he would do that, but maybe. They, 
comes with the DNA. You know, who knows? Well, now they go kind of like a, yeah. Career suicide, so like Freddie Prinz blowing his brains out, just career suicide instead of regular suicide. Well, that yeah. was yeah. Well, the regular suicide was real suicide. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Greg, give me the good old days when suicide was suicide. I mean, maybe the real suicide will follow, but right now, you know, it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to see if these guys are gonna whack themselves or what's gonna happen. There's gonna be you know more fun to come, kids. Stay Steve, tuned. Stephen, sad to say, uh, our time has kind of run out. Oh here. no! Now I will. Uh, oh no! I'm going to kill myself. So. It, it, yet another another wonderful time spent with one of my favorite people, <laughs> Stephen Pearl. Hey, Steve. Thank you, sir. And the Thank feeling you. is mutual. I mean, mutual. And we will talk to you very soon. I will be around for you, my friend, anytime. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Wait a minute, let me get the right picture on here. I want to get the picture of me. There we go. And I go, boop. And there we are. Hi, how are you? Oh, boy. I, I'm screwing up a lot lately. It's just, uh, what the hell. I just screw up, I screw up, and I screw up. So, anyway, let me get a few things going here. We got to get the, uh, the old uh, Skype uh, in the... Uh, working order so people can call the program if you don't know how to call the program go over to gabnet.net over on the right hand side of the page is all the information you need to know about calling this program and being a part of the citizens panel and don't be shy we will we treat newbies uh with great respect okay all right so anyway i i uh, uh but while we're waiting for people to call i got to do something about the bags under my eyes you know, I have these huge bags. I mean, you could carry luggage in there. It, it is luggage. It's not even bags. It's big, heavy-duty bags. And I've thought about getting them taken care of, but then I go, eh, you know. Suppose tomorrow I get my eyes taken care of and I'm looking great, and then I hit, get hit by a car and I die. Was it all worth it? No, it wasn't all worth it. So anyway, i got to do something about the bed. Do they look that bad? Tell me. Do they? Oh, here. here here's, here's somebody who'll be brutally honest with me about it. Do, I, do my bags look terrible here? Uh, no. No? No? No. Oh, okay. Did you uh, ever have any face work done? Face work? No, just the uh, hair. Just the hair. Yeah. So, actually, you're pretty good. The eyes aren't that, uh, you haven't got bags under your eyes. That's This is Phil, by the way. Yeah, but I'm... I'm uh, what, 14, 15, 16 years younger than you. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm, how... I'm going to be 64 in June. Oh, so, uh, so you, no, you're, uh, you're uh, 13 years younger than me. Well, okay, close enough. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, and I have, I have good skin, you know. I, uh, uh, I don't, I, uh, what is it, I, I don't have any wrinkles. Really? Yeah, and it's probably because uh, it was slightly oily when I was younger. Well, I've got this turkey neck now. Oh, we all have that. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of liked it when I first got it. I kind of felt of it. It felt it was a sign of maturity or something like that. You know. Well, uh, you know, I understand Trump pardoned you for Thanksgiving. Yes, he did. He did. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 and, uh, and true to my true to my nature, I didn't accept it. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Do you know why Mel Gibson got a free ride? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 what, what, what is this? Is this a joke? No. No, you were talking to, uh, you know, on your recorded thing with uh, Stephen Pearl, and you said Mel Gibson made a comeback. And you know why he got a free ride? Because what? he didn't molest any women. He insulted Jews. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to insult Jews, I mean, right? That, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. That's, good, that's good to go. Yeah, I uh, uh, quite frankly, you know, I uh, uh, think that what happened is, is that if you did your impropriety and were caught for it a few years ago, you don't have to suffer for it now in quite the uh, same way. I mean, like Woody Allen, how many times they bring up Woody Allen? No. I mean, you know, and there, there have been other people who have been accused of stuff and they, they went by, they got past that, you know. So. You know, he married the girl. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, I mean, if if all he did was diddle her, uh, that would have been one thing. But he married her. Yeah, but everybody, the bad press on that was that it was his wife's adopted child. Right. You know, uh, and quite frankly, if you want my opinion, 
uh, if I were married to Mia Farrow, I'd want to kill myself. Because <laughs> that woman, I think, is a real nutcase. Yeah, probably. And uh, now it's her son that uh, broke the... Well, he uh, doesn't look that well either, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's kind of a little weird in his own now, way. Did he, he have he, a TV program and uh, he, it, it and it, it failed at MSNBC, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ronan Farrow, who is definitely not uh, Frank Sinatra's son. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> look at him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he well, looks like Sinatra. Really? You know. But does he sing? Or better yet, he looks like any one of Sinatra's kids. He kind of looks like Frank Jr. looked when he was younger. You know? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, who yeah, knows? You know, with Nancy, I never saw past the boots. Oh, really? Yeah. It was, these boots were made for walking, and all you saw was the boots. You know? Really? Okay. And, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. You don't remember this? No. Okay. No. I, ne I never found Nancy that sexy. Did you? Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> really? Because yeah. when I had her on the air at the Sirius, uh, somebody told me, you know, I'm one of these kind of guys, I can't tell when a woman is, like, shy, putting a shine on me, you know? Yeah. And somebody told me, she's hot for you. I said, what? Said, Didn't you get all the messages that you were getting? And I said, no. I said, oh, she was hot for you. Yeah. That was pretty good. I mean, if she's listening now, she probably doesn't remember who the fuck I was. But, you know, at the well, moment that, she, that I, I was interviewing her. At her current her. age, she might not remember anything. Huh? Yeah. You know, at her current age, she might not remember anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never dated a celebrity. Ever. Well, my entire you career. Did well, with Linda Blair once. I went out on a date with Linda Blair, but I didn't have a relationship with Linda Blair. Although, yeah. I think in later life I could have. Because we always flirted with each other a lot, you know. And I like Linda. She's crazy, but I like her, you know. Yeah. yeah. She, really um, is, she really is a head turner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to watch that green stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, the pea soup. <laughs> no, I was, I was kind of, she was, she's kind of wacky and I, I like her. She's, uh, I think she's a very decent person. You know, uh, she's, uh, she's very good looking in, uh, and uh, now that she's matured, you think she I haven't seen the latest pictures of her. But when she came back to see me, she was fine. You know, well, I, I the reason I went out on a date with Linda Blair was because you declared your love for her well, no, what, several. Times. What I did was we had a discussion about um, um, uh, the, the people that you're hot for that you don't want to admit you're hot for. You know, yeah. and mine was Linda Blair, you know, that there was something about Linda Blair's. I found her just absolutely hot. How, yeah. how about you, Rob? Did you ever find Linda Blair hot? Oh, yeah. She was pretty yeah. hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> but, 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 you know, I was saying, you know, it was kind of I was one of those kind of admissions. So we made it a running gag on the show. And then finally, it's like, I know one thing led to another. And I wound up on a date with Linda Blair. Did your producer put it together? Or? No, I can't remember how it happened exactly. But then I got to know her, you know, and she would always, like, in serious, come on my show all the time. And um, she, you know, she's big, she big into animal rights and things like that. Yeah. And that's one of the things I liked about her, because anybody that wants to protect animals, I have a certain sensitivity for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well. But anyway, so uh, let me tell you what happened last night to me. I, I'm tired tonight. I'm always tired, but tonight I'm more tired than usual because I didn't get to bed till 3 o'clock in the morning. Why is that, Alex? Well, last night I decided there was this thing that Funny or Die had, which was the porno actresses uh, doing a thing about net neutrality, which I think is a very important subject, and I thought that this thing really put it in a, in a very cogent way, and was, it was funny, but it was important the way in which it was presented. So I played it, and all of a sudden, I was taken off the air by uh, Facebook. And I had to go back on the air, and I get a message uh, that I noticed afterwards saying, we had to take you off the air because that was copyrighted material. Well, first of all, fuck you, Facebook. Okay? Now, and, and, what, then, what, what, and wait a minute. And later <laughs> on, when I tried to post the whole show, they wouldn't post the whole show because of that one piece of material. And the same thing was true with YouTube. And my right. attitude is, fuck you, uh, 
live uh, funny or die. To begin with, you're not that funny and you should die. OK, uh, and and fuck you, funny or die, because if you do something like that, which is a great political statement, and at the end you've gotten a, a address for people to go to and all of that in order to be activists, then you shouldn't mind anybody playing that. And that was one of my assumptions. Also, it falls under a category we call f uh, fair. Uh, what is it? A fair comment. Is that the term, uh, Rob? A fair use. And fair use is when you're using something to illustrate a situation. And maybe it's a clip out of a movie or it's a clip out of something or whatever. So fuck you, Facebook. Fuck you, YouTube. And fuck you, most of all. Uh, 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 funny or die. Funny I or don't die. think it was aware last night that you were using no, their stuff. No, they've got something where it triggers it. But they should write an exception for that. They should want that to be everywhere right now. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, now, did you see that was the net neutrality thing, Alex. Yeah, right? yeah. Did you yeah. see the guy uh, today? Uh, one of the uh, FCC board members, uh, I can't remember his last name, I think it started with a C. Uh, he was making his case for net, uh, for, not for net neutrality, but for eliminating net neutrality. Yeah, uh, saying that the uh what they were doing was just returning to 2015 rules which were the rules that allowed the internet to flourish and uh no this this is not exactly that though you're being lied to by them phil uh this is not going back I'm to that repeating what back he said to that there were no rules at all now what we're doing exactly. is we're eliminating a rule that basically says that uh they can't uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, police their uh, their signals, the signals coming in. They can't give preference to one signal over another. Uh, and in uh, back before this, they didn't do that because um, uh, there were no laws saying they couldn't do something. But there were no laws. You know, when when they did. Net neutrality. I'm trying. I don't know how to put this. Am I? Can Rob? Could you put it better for me? No, because I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that before that we made net neutrality the law, according to Obama, it, there was it was a wild west out there. So all uh, there was any and all things were covered. Uh, but nobody was going around. Uh, uh, cable uh, cable companies uh, weren't going around. Uh, censoring uh, certain sites and saying this site is preferential over that site. They didn't do that. But what they're doing is they're saying they're going back to that, but they're not going back to that because they're going back to that in a different atmosphere. And the atmosphere now is that these people see money, 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 money in the Internet, which they didn't see for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, they see uh, money in the fact that why else... Did somebody like Comcast go out and buy Universal? Why did somebody like um, uh, why is somebody like AT and T trying to get uh, Time Warner? You know all those old things like HBO and so on. Why do they want that in CNN? They want it because they want to be in that business. And when they're in that business and there's no net neutrality, okay, they can then say to Netflix, "I'm sorry, we don't want you on our system. You compete against HBO." Okay. So you're saying is you like rules no i don't like rules i like the the absence uh, i like any rule that uh disenfranchises commerce in the, in a situation like this you know this is th this is kind of like um oh boy what can, how can i uh, it, it's it, you know it's like what i what we said before last night that somebody had used as an example that uh, you pay your electric bill every month and you get your electricity for your light and your computer and your, uh, your uh, uh, whatever, your microwave and whatever. Now, if instead that bill said, well, uh, we're going to charge you more for the light than we are for the microwave than for the this or for the that. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we don't want you using a microwave because we're in the microwave business, so you can't use the microwave in your home. I mean, that's really what this is about. It's about limiting the, uh, the commerce. It means that literally uh, Fios or Comcast or Spectrum or AT&T can say, we don't want to be in the Alex Bennett business. We don't want his program on our system. Okay? And then I'm not on their system. Well, oh, but he can be on our system if he wants to pay us money. 
Right. And when I first started using the Internet, everybody considered that what was on the Internet was free and that any anything that you wanted was free. I don't that, that was the attitude of most people. And then as they started to monetize things, people started to uh, not want to pay for certain things. You didn't want to pay for downloads. You didn't want to pay for music. You had Napster. You had all oh. sorts of stuff. And, and well, now, and that's a th that's a different story altogether, Phil. Because yeah, what I, you know, what you're talking, for, what you're talking, no, what you're talking about there is copyright. And what you're talking about is somebody who worked hard to create something, and he should I, see. No, I don't. I don't doubt that. Yeah. It's just that people's attitude about the internet uh, in 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 the early days was that everything that's on the internet should be free, and and maybe this is just kind of a no, holdover but, 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 and just no, not no, allowing no, it to no, progress. No, this is, has nothing level. to do with things being free. This has to do with these cable, these internet providers who should be a common carrier, okay, and should be a, uh, uh, should not arbitrate who is on the system or who you can get or not get. And what they're going to be able to do now is do exactly that, okay? And so, therefore, um, hey, su suppose you get somebody like, uh, who's that company, that broadcast company that's right, really right wing? Uh, oh, the, one, the subliminal messages? It, yeah, what's, what's it called? Sin Sinclair. 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 Let's say Sinclair starts a cable company, a cable company, or, you know, yeah, a ISP. Now they're going to prevent everything that's left wing from ever being broadcast over their ISP. Be a good one for me to subscribe. Well, well, to. yeah, but but <laughs> Phil, would that be right? It really, you believe in this, Phil? Oh, you very joke right. about it, but I mean, you don't have to go to that website if you don't want to go there. Right. You don't have to have, have it blocked. In other words, right now you have access to everything. You see, yeah, I understand, but you're, and by the way, by the way, that, by the way, this will stifle innovation as well. Absolutely. The guy at the FCC said it's just the opposite. He's saying it's he's, not going to. But he's a bullshit <laughs> artist. Those people who are on the FCC right now don't even know what they're talking about. He's a liar. He's a liar. Well, you know, and you uh, you believe they're trying to dictate what you what well, you're going to get. Well, that's gonna the get. argument, Mike. That's oh, the argument the that they're thing. trying to make, but uh, you know, it hasn't proved to be true. This is the same thing with the tax bill that's going through right now, with this huge deficit they're going to build up. If it doesn't, if they can't uh, pay for it with all the money everybody's going to make, then they'll hike the tax. No, they're not going to hike the tax. Yeah, they, yeah there's, there's a thing in there. They're going to come after your benefits. They're going to come after things like Social Security and Medicare. We need to cut entitlements. We need to cut this. Well, we do, but you know what? Uh, they, uh, they said that there's going to be a built-in thing that if they don't raise the amount of money they need to raise, then the taxes are going to go up. All and, I'm, uh, well, all I'm saying is the cost of a lot of things are going to go up with net neutrality. A good example would be Netflix. If they suddenly have to pay Comcast extra money in order to be carried on their system, then they're going to have to pass that that money, uh, that raise in, in their expenses uh, to you. You know? Charlene. Yes, yeah, Charlene. Oh, uh, you know, Alex, um, you have the Fios, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I had Fios. Did Univision ever come back on? Because that's what happened on Fios, right? They were too expensive or something, and uh, Fios, you know, like uh, cut it off. I kept getting this channel's no longer on, and I don't know what happened. Cause well, I that's don't really common now. Is that common well, 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 like, for instance, right now, right time. now, no, right now, uh, no, no, it's quite the reverse, actually, Charlene, in this case. Uh, in the case of, like, for instance, uh, Telemundo, I think, it may be Telemundo or one of the Spanish outfits, mm -hmm. uh, is not being carried on Fios. And the reason right. they aren't is because Fios, wa because Telemundo wants too much money. Too much money, that's what I thought. For carriage. Thought, yeah. So it's the reverse, where Telemundo's trying to get too much money. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. Rob. Have you, uh, if you do a little research, you'll find out that net neutrality, ex uh, no, no net neutrality exists in Portugal. Really? And because of they, it. Uh, that's, uh, they said this last night. Yeah, internet providers are starting to split them, their services into packages. Really? So in other words, if you want Netflix, because you are a Netflix subscriber, you may have to pay for a whole bunch of extra streaming crap that you don't want.
Oh, okay. Bob Ebert said that last it, night. I asked him how it was going, and he said it wasn't going well. But I don't know what he compared it to. Yeah. By no, the way, it, Patrick, if you're trying to if you're trying, television. if you're trying to call us, we have a real problem with you. To begin with, you you don't look like you're online, and it has a question mark. Well, do you want Same to be happened, no? Uh, add the contacts. Night. Well, I can add them to my contacts. Okay, you but that with Jeff, it didn't work. Huh? No, it, 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 there's some problem with Patrick tonight. Oh, uh, there, Patrick is now online. So let me uh, let me now try to call him and add him to the group. Here we go. There we go. All right, because we want to. We can't. Uh, day without Patrick is a day without sunshine. Uh, oh, if anything happens and I suddenly drop out, I don't know if that's going to happen. But can, you mentioned the tax bill. Are we going to get a hundred dollars like we did with uh, Bush? No, no. Just, you're not like getting. You're not getting face. diddly squat. Yeah, I don't know where these things. That was a stimulus people. package. Right. Remember uh, when we got the hundred dollars? They think we're going to uh, get that again. Andy. Yeah. And my friend uh, uh, Larry Lindsay was the one that came up with that. <laughs> no, but you know the thing is well, that uh, that uh, for instance, I get maybe what? How much do I get? Uh, about twenty six thousand dollars a year in Social Security, and then my wife gets uh, another almost similar amount, and yet uh, only. 24,000 of that can we take off rather than saying, hey, all you people getting Social Security, we're not going to tax that anymore. Then I heard you know? that we might lose state tax. Huh? You won't get a refund on state tax with this or something? No, no, no refunds. You can't add, you can't dis take off the state tax. Uh, you can't take off, if you're a teacher, you can't take off the $500 a year you could take off for buying supplies. Uh, and this is going to suck in the end. If it's you're gonna go, if you're going to go to college, if you're going to go to college and you just got yourself a fifty thousand dollars scholarship, you're going to have to pay taxes on the fifty thousand dollars. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. So tell me, this is good for well, anybody. Capital gains, it, you wouldn't have to do Phil, that. Phil, Phil, what? Oh God, Phil, you can't like this. You said last night you didn't like it. No, I don't like it. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. See, 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 what are you talking about? Bust your chops. Sauce is biting. Bill Sauce is biting. Talk about McCain is voting <clears throat> for it. Yeah. Have you have you seen McCain? Did you see McCain today on TV? He's in a wheelchair and very frail. Oh God. Oh, that's yeah. terrible. Hope he doesn't He's make it to the vote. Patrick. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know. Right. If he doesn't say yes. Right. Right. Right, but I think he I think in this bill. What? What? He, he uh, McCain believes in this bill. Yeah, McCain said he's going to vote for it. He wow. really? Now, why? I have Pelosi yeah. and Schumer are still empty chairs. But, right? uh, uh, what's his name? The guy that got beat up in Kentucky. Uh, More? He, I don't think he's no. voting for it. Who? There's something. There's some new information tonight. Oh, listen, back off on your phone, your mic a little bit. You're distorting slightly, uh, uh, Rob. I don't know why. Is broken in Kentucky. Um, his father was a senator too, ran for president. A, a Rand Paul, that's it. Uh, I don't think he's voting for it. And then that Mikowski uh, from Maine, and uh, yeah, yeah. There's uh, a problem that uh, is being reported uh, tonight. They thought they were going to get the votes tonight, but uh, now there uh, there are a bunch of uh, Republicans who are who are saying that they're too they're very concerned about the debt. Yeah, and uh, so yeah. Well, they they say this this, this can add a billion dollars worth of debt to our already debt ridden a, economy. A trillion, yeah. yeah, a trillion, yeah. Uh, what do you think about it, Patrick? Have you been paying attention to this whole flap over taxes? Not particularly. I didn't. I didn't think it would get this far. So yeah, uh, who thought it would? Right. So I. I so I really didn't pay much attention because the Republicans haven't been able to do anything. Well, yet, I, so I like how everybody waxes so poetic about how wonderful this is going to be for the American public. And what are you going to do with all this free money you're getting? Blah, 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 blah. It's not yeah. going to happen. You know, um, the very more poor. Money's gonna, more money is going to come out of your pocket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Poor people it's more are, money for sanctuary cities so that they can uh, kill gals no, like the, Kate Steinle and get away with it. <laughs> You know, the did guy, you hear that? The, I know. Uh, yes, the guy went on trial, and a jury of his peers said he was not guilty. Right. Okay. So shut up. 
No, well, you know, <laughs> they said he was not guilty, uh, uh, and a, and a lot of it had to do with the a racial uh, issue. It's not. And, it, it, look, don't. He went to trial. He was found not guilty. You have to uh, accept his innocence. Okay, I accept it. Okay, so now shut up. Harvey, Harvey Weinstein Case closed. Trial, gets himself a really good attorney and is found not guilty. You'll accept that. He too. hasn't been charged with anything yet. Well, yeah, he was in, wasn't he going to be charged in England? Well, uh, it, no, they, they, there was talk of it that he, they uh, might, you know, but there's, there was a lot of talk about that everywhere. Oh, we're going to, we're going to arrest him. We're going to do this to him. You know, I think just cut off his balls. I think that's it. Either that or take mm. away, take better yet, take away his bathrobe privileges. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. all these guys show up in their bathrobe. You got to know if you're a woman and a guy shows up in his bathrobe. Well, he got a little problem, you know. Well, that's true. Yeah. Which which brings me around to that piece of work, Amy, Amy uh, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what Amy uh, I've decided Amy Manuel, we actually have a bigot in our midst and it's Amy Manuel. Uh, well, last last night, Alex. Oh man, you just I was so livid. Uh, you know, I I had problems here. I had to go back. I had to take the show that I had done last night, the video, edit out that thing, and then put it back up. And that was taking me. A, you know, at first I have to render it, which takes an hour, and then I have to bring it down to a smaller file, and that takes another twenty five minutes. Then I got to. So I had all these things to do, and in the middle of all of that. I just felt compelled to call because I heard, oh. here's what Amy did. Here's what she said about Matt Lauer. I heard you last night. About Matt Lauer. She said, uh, what we should do is replace him with a woman. Right. And I phoned up and I said, fuck you, Amy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, I, was, I, was like, I said, replace her with a woman. I said, do you ever watch that show? Have you ever seen how many women are on it's there with weather. Matt Lauer? Yeah, except for the news guy. Not, uh, except mean, for the, the weather uh, the guy, weather. the fat weather guy. Yeah. Uh, Roker. Uh, Roker. The Roker. Roker and, Lauer, he, and, and you wouldn't want to fire the minority, would you? You know, so, uh, 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 you know, I said, you know, you're not, you don't know what you're talking about. You really want to replace it with another woman? So now we got three women sitting at that table? Uh, I think she was just being punitive. It wasn't necessarily particularly that show. No, uh, she was saying that we should replace all the, like over on CBS, we replaced Charlie Rose with a woman. There are already two women on the show. Yeah, she's, the, put, she's putting men in a bucket. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Amy Manuel is a bigot. And she's a bigot against men. Okay? Sure. And, and she, yes, Patrick. I, I called Wait, Renee. Pat, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick had his hand up. Yes. I listened to what you said, Alex. Yeah. And then I thought Kevin had a great follow-up where he, just, he said, you know, I, I disagree. I don't want to be put, lumped in. You shouldn't be lumping me in. And, yeah. you know, I mean, I've had that issue for a couple of weeks now. When, when I've heard that show mm -hmm. where had to turn it off because I, I'm not going to listen to me being uh, lumped in with these other predators. You know, I mean yeah. that that's just that's horseshit. That yeah. that is like lumping all black people together, or all Muslims together, or all Jews together, or all Catholic together. I mean, right, right. I mean it, it's bullshit. It, it's See? nothing. You said it. It's bigoted. It's uh, chauvinistic. Um, it, it's horseshit. So. And it's it's wrong. You're not you're not writing a wrong with another wrong, you know. And this whole, whole idea. Of, and, and then you know she doesn't even know she doesn't even know about the Today Show. She doesn't know how many women are already on that show. How many women are on the CBS show? How many women are on the ABC show? I don't think it matters. I think that you know there it, this is a takeover of the industry. And by the way, uh, the women on the Today Show were followed by another woman, Megan Kelly, followed by another two women, Coda and Kathy. Yeah, you, you ever you ever look at real estate agents? They used to be all men. Then all of a sudden, it became a, almost an all women—not all, but a, a very ma many. It tilts that way. 
that there's a lot more women real estate agents. You know, yeah. things change, and and maybe what they're trying to do is force that change. Women have always been a very predominant factor in morning shows on television. And one of the reasons is is because there's they to begin with. Well, here's my argument: they have to be attractive. However, that's my argument. And they're watched you know. by women. There's a lot of women yeah. oh, at here, home. Here comes Renee. She's gonna. She's gonna. Yeah. Have that, have oh, there goes the roof. Yes, uh, uh, Mike. You know you, what you said last night, Alex. You lower, you lower the roof on, uh, on her. Yeah, I heard. Surely, I, yeah, it got wild. Surely, yeah. it got wild last night. Yeah, you said it so beautifully the way you said it last night, Alex. Well, it's just that you know, there's only so much. I, of know, this, I, I know you were getting pissed off at her. There's only so much of this male bashing I can take. You know? Exactly. Uh, she has a position, and she she supported her position. Yeah, but her position free? is no yeah. more tenable than being an anti-Semite against Jews. Wait a second. Aren't you going to invite me into the male wine club? No. Because you guys. No. Are gonna... <laughs> yeah, you're going to put up a man wall. Well, well, we all know. Uh, we all know Amy that uh, that every day, uh, every day off the air, you talk to Amy. So go <laughs> ahead, Renee. I don't. I don't. I've only done that like once or twice. So. <laughs> The deal is, is how about, and which I, I'm sorry, Patrick, uh, Patrick, and then I'll go after Patrick. He's no, up. no, 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 you go, because you, okay. you call. So every time you say something misogynistic, I'm going to make a noise. I have to figure out what noise it's going to be, but, and then Patrick, you are not even allowed to think of Megan Kelly. No, don't, don't, don't put it on your face. Okay. <laughs> just just hold Mike and he'll make a noise. Every time you guys, I'm not going to. Uh, first of all, first of all, first of all, I I, compl I completely agree that uh, uh, being sexist uh, is uh, is born out of pure stupidity, but misogyny is born out of experience. Go ahead. Anyway, what were you going to say, full Renee? House. Full house. Yeah, full house. Uh, yes, Patrick. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, I can't believe you just said that. If the solution is to replace all of the men with women, then mm -hmm. I no particular women to be toxic because then it's worth my while if I can stare at you. Well, I mean, and I knew you're going to do that. That's why I'm doing that. You know, I heard why right. they just leave it alone the way it is. Don't go for an yeah. another man. Uh, uh, it, Renee, yeah, <laughs> Re Renee has her yeah. hand up. So you're forgetting about Charlie Rose does an anchor television or uh, a, a really highly rated PBS show. To have a woman in that seat would be wonderful. To have a Hispanic in that seat would be outstanding. Somebody else other than a white male or an old white male. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. So, uh, oh there's only going. one guy who's a host right. on that show, and it happens to be a guy. Now, if you want to complain to somebody, Go to PBS and say, "Where's the woman hosting a show?" I mean, no, you were saying that you because I'll tell you, I can. If if you want me to start naming show, off, if you okay, okay, let me ask you this question on the Oprah show: Why didn't they re Why didn't they replace her with a guy? Yeah, exactly, well, white guy. Uh, on on the on the Wendy Will well, on the Wendy Williams show, I think they should have a guy with her for equal time. You should have a guy on the. Huh? If you think you're mad enough, there are so many women in television. You know, you're picking out PBS. There's so many women in television. It, 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 I sit at home and it's one woman after another. How does a really scary job? You know, if you want, if you, if you want to say there aren't enough female lawyers or there aren't enough this or that, but when you want to say there aren't enough women in television. Then you're barking up the wrong tree. No, not at the yeah. level Charlie Rose is at. Patrick. Uh oh. There's a new show that I watch now. Yeah. And it's because Megan decided to, to jump ship and I can't watch it during the during the day. So I watch the five on Fox. Yeah. I tape it. Because you because you think you can look up their dresses, don't you? Admit it. Admit so it. Why? Exactly. Because they're sitting there. It, it's like Fox. Fox has has stocked the pond on that show, yeah. uh, and and they've got women wearing Four very short dresses, all sitting in chairs without a table in front of them. Start Four watching Spanish TV. <laughs> but, but That's what you need. With Kimberly Guilfoyle mm -hmm. is 
nearly every night, she's wearing a low cut top where you can see wow. nice cleavage. And Patrick. I'm like, That's great. I, you I know what? Say something that isn't misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> no, this 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 temptress, this this bitch of a temptress is getting to Patrick. Alex. Yes. Did you hear Colbert's thing that he's the last man left on television now, or something? <laughs> yes. Funny. I can't do it. I posted some of the clips on well, my. Who, who, wait, 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 wait. Who's Fallon and who's uh, Jimmy Kimmel? Well, I don't know, but you know, Colbert. I think it's pretty funny. You know, whatever. Well, you there, can... there. You and I truly disagree, Charlene. No, but I mean, it's funny because he was yelling at Matt Lauer. He said, "We have it bad enough as it is, and now you got to do this, Matt." And you know, then he showed Matt dressed up in drag and all that. I thought it was like. <laughs> well, you know, yes, Rob. I, I'm going to say something that's going to be pretty controversial, but I've been thinking this lately. Okay. I'm first going to preface it because you got to do that these days by saying I think Matt Lauer is one of the low, lowest class wretches. Here's a guy, $20 million a year. He could have any woman he wants. And he was doing shit like that. And it's going, and it, the story we heard this morning on the news where uh, uh, the woman, he calls in a, a, a younger reporter or whatever to come in. She thought they were going to talk about a story. He presses the button and locks his Under, door. Yeah, locks his door. She wouldn't have sex top. and he got mad. He tells too. her to undo her top and then he undoes her pants and whatever he does to her. Well, And then I'm she gonna, passed out, by the way. She yeah, passed out. Well, I'm going to say, when, if, but, when are women going to have more respect for themselves to say, fuck you, get up and walk out of the office? Then when the door is locked automatically, then it, you said he locked the door. Oh, well, oh, the, the fact is, though, that if he doesn't open it, he's in for a lot of trouble. If you if you look like you're going to go to HR, you're going to go yell about this thing. And you're going to open the door. And you're going to do whatever it takes. If you want my si if you want my silence, you don't rape me. You open the door. Exactly. And, and, and the answer is, is I'm calling 911. Whatever, because but is, because this is fault. This is imprisonment. So if if you're ever in the situation where any higher up, male or female, does this shit to you, absolutely hmm. call nine one one. It is against the law what he's doing to you. So or is, she. So, so so that's my 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 rant about women. You could talk all you want about these horrible men who do these things, but why do these women let them? By the way, we just got a we, we just got a phone. We just hold on, hold on, hold on a second. We just got a phone call from somebody. Are you there? What what is that? What is that? The water company. No, but the, no. Wait a minute. We have an unknown caller, and I don't know who the unknown caller is, which is probably why he's unknown. Are you there? Call. Yes. Who is this? Schmoody. Oh, hey, Schmoody. It's it's my old uh, girlfriend Kathleen. Hello, Schmoody. How are you? Can you hear me? Apparently, she can't. Uh, is she with her lawyer? Uh, no. <laughs> H Hello, are you there? Are you Hello? Kathleen? Can you hear us? She can't. I, apparently, she can't hear us. That's weird. Yeah. So. I don't know. I'm gonna have to hang up on her. Oh. And Rob, I'm gonna I'm gonna second what you were saying. If you are an adult woman and and you find yourself in these situations, get the fuck out. And if you feel what are parents teaching their daughters? Hey, if that, I heard that. that, that I, heard I mean, that the you know, I mean, I hear these 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 stories like with the Louis C.K. thing, where where he said, "Do you mind if I pull out my penis?" And not one of these women said. No, I don't mind if you. Uh, yes, shot. I do mind if you pull out your penis. How about no, what kind of person walk. walks up to somebody and says, "Can I pull out my penis?" Yeah, uh, you would cut it off. I would. You I, would I would. I would say. I would say that you should probably just turn around and walk the hell out of the room. That would be my. That's right. No, I heard that the whole news crew knew about this. Did you hear that? That we haven't heard. There's more developments maybe coming tomorrow. You know, this morning when we wake up or whatever, that oh, the, the women and the, Al Roker, all the colleagues knew that Matt was doing this. So right. The plot's going to thicken. Well, you know. How mm -hmm. about like, a what? couple more? Uh, women came up, uh, came out against uh, 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 what's his name in the I Senate? I heard that Geraldo Rivera Grove. Did anybody Franken. hear that? Yeah. yeah anyway, uh, 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 Schmoody, are you there now? He did. 
Are you there, Schmidt? Hey, you know what? What? That was not me that called in first. That was weird. Oh, really? Oh, well, then I wouldn't even pick yeah, up the so phone. Yeah, that's why I wrote up on the screen, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a different number, huh? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. What? We're, we're, we're losing. Who are we losing? Oh, we lost Bobby Rose light. He has he lost his lights. <laughs> so uh, next time I'm going to have to what? nut punch someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or or yeah. boob punch them. Can I watch? <laughs> now, if every woman was like Smooty, none of this would have happened because oh. she would have laughed at Louis C.K. for pulling out that dick. Right. No, uh, Schmooty would not put Lorena Bobbitt on him. Schmooty would not put up with that. She would not put no, up No, I, I wouldn't have. Did but I mean, on somebody that knew what to do. I had a guy. Uh, I had a guy, a manager uh, of mine, not too long ago, another mm -hmm. company, mm -hmm. who tried pulling crap on me, and I was a little bit fearful of him because I was afraid to lose my job. But he tried to do shit to me, like call me names, and I told him straight out in front of a bunch of people, "Cut it out. That's the end of it. I'm not going to hear that again." Just like that. You got to just stand up for yourself. You can't be well, You know, I mean, are, are, are we are we to assume that we have the right now to call women the weaker sex because they wouldn't react to these things? That's what I'm no, saying. Bob, you know? Bob just said it. He just said I was in. I, I might have should have been in fear for my job. I should maybe not say this. I should. I would get repercussions. I might not get another job if I open my mouth and call this guy on the carpet. It's called lawsuit. Yeah, uh, Patrick, you got your hand up. Yeah, um, it, you just reminded me of, of this whole thing. Just reminded me of something that happened many years ago to uh, two friends, of mine. and they were at a workplace where I believe it was the CEO or a senior vice president um, made a comment to them of a sexual nature regarding tuna, and they kind of let it slide and thought, well, oh, whatever. And then he started sending postcards to each of these women that were um, nude art pieces with um, very um, suggestive things written on the back mm -hmm. that could pass through the mailroom at, at their workplace without alerting somebody, but they would know what it meant. Well, the way that they combated this, because they were afraid of losing their job, is they took the postcards and posted them up on a um, uh, on their cube wall for everybody in the company to see, so that anybody that walked by could see the the postcards that were coming from this individual. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, all that shit stopped. And that's the way that they took care of it by showing everybody hey look it was signed by the person so you know i mean there was a, there's another way to fight fight fire with fire you know if you're gonna post some shit we're gonna let everybody know what's happening and it stopped and, and you know, Shmo wait, hold on a second hold on a second schmoody you 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 yeah. know you, you're the kind of woman that uh I'm sure has had guys come on to her because uh, I, I know what you look like and uh, you're very imposing and uh, you have those wonderful press-ons that you're wearing. Uh, and uh, This guy person keeps calling. Don't call anymore, unknown phone caller. I don't want you on, okay? Leave me alone. Go away. Well, you have a royal flush, so. Yeah, I'm not adding another person and that person didn't start talking anyway. But, you know, you've had guys come on to you and, and, and uh, probably a, a, in, in not too pretty a fashion, all right? What have you done? Don't you just tell them to go fuck themselves? Well, you know, because I worked in a male-dominated industry, mm -hmm. I was very well protected by the guys around me. So not only... You know, not a lot, a lot of people would mess with me, and most of the people that came on to me actually did it in a very polite way. There were, there were other things that people said away from me that would get back to me, and I would just go straight to my manager, and I was lucky because most of the managers I had did, wouldn't put up with that shit right? and would pull the person in along with me, and I would turn to the person 
and say, you know, how would you feel if this was your wife or your daughter? And it, it brought the point right up to their face. And, well, you know, after everything is said and done, I'm one of those people that I let it go. Yeah. You know, I'm not one to hold a grudge against anybody. You know, people make mistakes. We all do. Yeah. But I would let it go. But, you know, I never, unless I was out with my friends and someone was drunk, that was one thing. But I was very lucky that um, people, you know, that men didn't come up to me and say just like horrible things or lock me in an office. Because probably because I'm six feet tall, <laughs> um, yes. I would just go right through them. So, you know, that's just me. But, you know, one thing I can say about the company I worked for is they fired women for can, can, sexually can, harassing can, men, can too. We, can we say what the... What what, samples what, wait, wait, hold on a second. Sexual like, can, harassment wait, wait, of women and men. Hold on a second. Uh, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me ask you this. Can we, can we tell them what company you worked for? Because sure. I think it's important. Well, because... don't say the name. I don't think they'll figure out the initials, but it was okay. uh, uh, UPS. Yeah, the initials are UPS. We're not going to say their name. Okay. How do you spell uh, that? Uh, yeah. Never heard of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, st seen... it stands for the way your packages <laughs> used to God come. Knows that is. It stands for the way your pack packages used to come. Oops. Uh, anyway. The brown color? Yeah. So, what, what kind what? of examples did women do to men? that they uh, considered harassment? Uh, there were um, certain comments that uh, women made to men <laughs> that weren't tolerated. Nice. And they, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Yes. Or a supervisor over a male employee saying stuff or getting them into a trailer and maybe slapping them where they shouldn't slap them. And one thing I can say, at least the building I worked in there, when they said there was zero tolerance, there was zero tolerance. And this yeah, was back. I was in a warehouse this, oh. situation too, and it was the same thing. And I was a manager there and I had to enforce that. Yeah. Was that 17th and Petrero? Not, not me. Oh, no, uh, Schmoody. No, Schmoody. Was... No, I, I worked in Oakland. Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. So what would happen? Like grab ass or something? Like some of oh yeah, and talk. Pick, typical warehouse. Yeah, talk. I mean, yeah, anything that was, uh, you know, if whether it was male or female, if the other person, uh, if the person on the receiving end didn't much appreciate it, and they went to their manager, their manager knew that they You're were out. bound by policy and procedure to do something about it. I mean, not only could the company get sued, but the manager. Could get sued. Yeah, so what I, do you want to do? Brush it under the rug or, and lose everything, or do the yes, right thing? And ninety nine point yeah. nine 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 percent of the time, the managers you, there. Did you the can't right see thing. him, but Kevin's kind yeah, of agreeing with you. Kevin, wait, Kevin. Especially in California. Yeah. I mean, but, we were. Yeah. Like I said, we, I've said this a hundred times. But we were required to take six hours of sexual harassment training as a manager every two years, record it, and report it to the state. Were you good at it? Yeah. You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had to take the test every year. And, and, this, and, and I was management and, every and, year. And how many years ago was this? I mean, here's a company that was doing this years ago. I, I, yeah. I was five, six, seven years ago. Yeah. Uh, yes, Renee. Okay, so two things. One is UPS is acting, asking their employees to act like adults. That's outstanding, wonderful. Yep. And by the way, my dog knows the UPS truck because the UPS driver gives my dog a doggy treat. But oh, yes. On a serious well, note. There's a good reason for that, so the dog won't bite him. Bite yeah, him. that's bribery. So, on a serious note, if you're six, one, you're six feet one inch is tall, the average female... No, I, yeah, States, I'm... Correct. Yeah. I'm, the average female in the United States is 5'5", five five, and most of them are below she that. She was slightly but, taller than me. What words do you have for somebody who's a teeny tiny full-grown female? Get a gun. I'm 5'2". <laughs> well, I would say to a teeny tiny the woman, arms, you're with an arm's length of hitting a very important part. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, though. <laughs> you know, a, a Schmoody would have had to have reached down to hit that part. If you're shorter, you can just punch straight ahead. Punch it. Yeah. Almost a headbutt. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was there was a company I worked for while I was working at UPS. I was working two jobs and going to college, and I had a I had mm -hmm. a manager literally slam me up against the wall and say some stuff to me. 
And when I went to the company about it, they retaliated against me. Yep, I went after them, and I won. Yeah. But what was funny yeah. is not only had this guy harassed me, but he had harassed other people. But because the company retaliated against me, no one wanted to jump onto because it could have right. been a class action. Well, uh, uh, when uh, uh, when yeah. I won the judgment, then people wanted to climb on the baton wagon. And I told them, if you had truly felt you had been harassed like me, you would have put everything on the line like I did. Okay, let me, Shmoody, let me also say that because I, I can see everybody and you can't, sometimes people raise their hands and I want to go to them when they do that. So let me go. To, uh, Rob had his hand up. Yes, Rob. Uh, it, the time has passed because I was responding I, I to said, Renee. Get I think Rob was reacting to it. No, no, no. I wasn't reacting to you. I was, I'm just kind of like wondering here what you guys are talking about. In the workplace, um, I understand that, you know, women are smaller than men for the most part. But if you're in somebody's office and it's like either your boss or a coworker, I'm, I'm not talking about a rape situation where somebody grabs you from your car. You're in your place of business. Are you that scared to stand up and say, fuck you, I'm getting out of here. And if you don't get at, let me get out of here, you're going to have a problem. I'm not talking about, I mean, is there real fear going on in an office where these women are letting themselves get? Uh, well, uh, look, something I wanted to bring up to Renee, uh, uh, and that is, are we saying that women truly are the weaker sex? And that they, no, that, that, and that they have, it's... that they don't have the ability to turn around and walk out and then <laughs> and let the chips fall where they may and yeah. do like Schmoody did and take it to the, take it to the mat? Okay, so number one, um, I'm sorry, we're not, it's not a weaker thing. There's a lot of places in the United States that do not have all the same laws across the board. Number two, if you're a person, and I don't mean in stature, but if you're a person that desperately needs a job that maybe it has medical to it and you don't want to become some of the 30 million people, you might not speak up because you need that job. And then let's just say you lived in a shithole state like Alabama and some guy raped you and they forced you to have the kid. It would probably be your cousin. you finished high school and you're in a room with your fucking boss and this happens. And then Rob's scenario happens. Well, what what you is it that you think Alabama. she's willing to put on her? Is she willing to dash her entire career because of this jackass? Well, you're, you like, know, instance, I mean. The uh, single, I, the I, single I, mom with four kids. I agree. No, I and listen, I I I, I I agree with you as well. But I'm I'm but saying that in these cases, in most of these cases that we're hearing about right now, we're hearing about single women. We're hearing about women who are not uh, in that kind of position. We're talking about women who are working at, at NBC or they're working at C, at uh, PBS or they're working at NPR or whatever. All these different places. Uh, we're talking about some women who were young comedians with Louis C.K. I mean, these are women who could definitely put their foot down. And they, and, and they have and much more of a recourse. Now, some of the women at NBC, it looks like, over the years, with the earlier administrations of NBC, had a hard time making a complaint against Lauer because he was, he was their golden baby. He made them million. That show is the largest money-producing show NBC has. And that includes so, The Tonight Show, This Is Us, or any other show. And so to go after Matt Lauer, uh, was, he was somebody they protected. And that, th then we have to put the, the onus on NBC and on the companies for not doing their due diligence in situations where a woman says, I was just in his room, he locked the door, he raped me. Right. That's, you know? so, and, and, you know about it. Wait a minute. And it, that's actually the point to all of this. The point is, is this is a place of work. This is what the UPS people are telling you. This is a fucking place of work. There's no place for anybody who is not going to be an adult. If you can't come to work and be an adult, you don't work okay. here anymore. But there is a but great difference. There's a great difference in the in. Uh, I'll get to you in a second, Kevin, because I see your hand up. Uh, uh, there is a great difference between UPS and NBC. And the kind look, of work, no, wait a minute, so and the kind look, of work culture that they have in those 
situations. Right. Uh, you just I, talked about a man who is uh, who is the hierarchy of CBS. They couldn't get back. They couldn't get him a couple years ago. That was the exact same scenario of the ja Weinstein. They could, New York Times knew about this about ten years ago. They couldn't Weinstein. Bring it up. They yeah, but Weinstein. Uh, well, let me put it this way: Weinstein was a lot easier to go after because Weinstein was his own boss. Yes, you know. but the problem is, is this happened many years before, and and it wouldn't stick. Nobody believed the women. Yeah, but and I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of, I'm tired of this being all about women. I mean, guys are put upon all the time. That's fine. Go to HR or go to. Yeah, the well, but department. I mean, uh, one, one uh, you know, I mean, you know, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a group of people. Well, let me go to Kevin first. He had his hand up. Go ahead, Kevin. Exactly what's being said is what it is. It's a matter of the company and what kind of culture they have. UPS had a good culture. They made it clear. The company I work for made it clear. This is what's going to happen when you go to work. Weinstein's company obviously had a different culture. And obviously people shut up when the, when stuff happened. That probably happens at a lot of other companies too. It depends on what the culture of the company is. Otherwise, you're going to be working and you could be in that position you go in and say something, they say, yeah, yeah, whatever, well, goodbye. Why is it that the majority, wait a minute, why is it the majority of the cases we're hearing about this aren't about other businesses? Why is it all these things are taking place in one form of show business or another? Have you no, noticed that? I can that? guarantee you it happens all well, across but the But why, why <clears throat> is it that the, the people going after people are going after show business people for the most part? Because they're close to microphones. Well, no. I, I think part of the reason is those cultures are far more, Rob, how can I put it? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The, the, the culture in a, in a show business environment is much looser. It's like a party. Uh, you know, uh, well, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I asked oh. Rob a, a question, and then um, Jeff is next, and then you. Thank you. There's definitely a difference between working in, in the broadcasting business than there is in working for a regular company. And I had to make that adjustment when I left radio and television and went to work for regular companies. There's no question about it. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's the reason. I think the reason is, is because they're such powerful people and they make a huge splash. And there are a lot of people who were burned by people like Matt Lauer mm -hmm. and Charlie Rose and uh, Harvey Weinstein and, and, and that, you know, so there's a just a, because who they are. Yeah. Because, you know, there's a lot of desperate people out there, young starlets and and want to be news anchors, want to be, you know, they're willing to. Yeah, a fuse, a fuse was lit and the bomb finally went off. You know, maybe if you're a if you're an accountant and the, the senior accountant tries to close the door on you and tell you to take your blouse off, you'll say, fuck you. But, you yeah. know, when you're with the allure of. $20 million a year that Matt Lauer earns and all the, you know, the sexiness of the career, yeah. people are willing to... Yeah, uh, 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 Jeff, gonna pass. Uh, you're going to pass? Why? Yeah. What, what were you going to say? Nah, yeah. I'll think about it. Oh, okay. I'll think about it differently. Well, Phil never was, is at a loss for words. Yes, Phil? I was just looking at People Magazine had a... Uh, I think Pamela Anderson says Harvey Weinstein's accusers shouldn't have been alone with him. And she, her quote is, you knew what you were getting into. Uh, I guess because, you know. Well, the word out. was out on Harvey for years. Yeah. And, and so, you know, uh, that, that's what, and Pamela Anderson is pretty good looking, you know. Uh, so, She's your type, Phil? And, and her yeah. beauty matches, and her beauty matches her, uh, on the outside matches her intelligence on the inside. <laughs> I didn't need any intelligence with that beauty. Uh, Bob, 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 Bob Ebert, uh, Bob Ebert has his hand up, and he, it's the first time this evening. So let me let him say what he's got to say. I think part of it too is uh, these women, the men that are doing these things to her, are their meal ticket also because they can do favors that get them in higher places, better pay situations, and things. And I think that's why there's been so much silence. Yeah, you know, you, you ever hear the joke where it's a guy wait, 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 says, wait a minute, 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 hold on a second, because I saw a hand up there, Charlene. You know, I just 
I just want to know, like, Alex, what are they going to do to guys like Weinstein and Matt Lauer? Like, is there a way to prosecute them for this now? Well, they're, they're, I mean, they're they they're they're made, they, I don't think they could prosecute anything that Matt Lauer did. Uh, well, you know, it, it's to begin with the statutes of limitation ones may have may have passed. It, it, it's uh -oh, just 2014. It's, yeah. Well, OK. It, well, then Lauer. they haven't. But I don't think that, uh, uh, you know, I mean, who, who knows? Uh, it, it's a question. Can you prove these things? I mean, when you're talking criminality of these things, you're talking in a whole entirely different world. <laughs> I think uh, they should try. Well, you know, yeah, I hear see that. I yeah, think we have to wait and see what happens. Well, and you know, say like I, I another he, couple of months, three months, four months. Here's what I don't understand. Um, oh, to begin with, I don't understand if all these accusations against Matt Lauer are true. Why? You know, I mean, come on. You are you're a wealthy man. You 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 have a position. Yeah. You're doing okay. very well. Why? Why? Jeopardize. Why, why even jeopardize know. that? You power know. corrupts. But you know, I was trying exactly. to say exactly power corrupts. Uh, I, what I was trying to say before uh, was uh, when Bob was uh, explaining, uh, uh, you know, there's a joke that says uh, you go to a woman, you say, Would you have sex with me for five dollars? And she says, yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't do yeah, that. Here we go, and Winston so, Churchill uh, again. Yeah. So then yeah, she says, uh, yeah, We all no, know the jokes. We all know the joke. Anybody here don't, doesn't know the joke? Right. We know the well, joke. It's, okay, it's, we all know the joke. So just say that joke. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Go motorboat Pamela Anderson, Phil. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I, I won't motorboat her. She she uh, <laughs> obviously that. says that you know she knows what she's getting into and she wouldn't do it. But Bill uh, likes Pamela Anderson. Uh, Wait yeah. a second. Isn't uh, so when she married that wasn't she married Tommy to Lee. one of the Tommy road Lee. people? Uh, Tommy, Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but she's divorced from that. Yeah, okay. That, Jeff, Jeff has his hand up. Jeff. Blonde yeah, ships okay. and goddesses. Jeff. So what, I, what I'm looking at, at all of these TV shows that we get to see, uh, whether it's uh, on NBC or any of the other stations, or, and particularly Fox and whatever, people get that job because they can communicate. Mm -hmm. But a lot part of of reason that they actually get the job that you see on TV or because they're very gorgeous. I was about people. to say that. Yes. Okay. Where are the now, ugly people? Wait, that's right. Wait, now, is it looking? <clears throat> oh, yeah. And, that, and that includes the men, too. Ugly. Garrison Keillor is butt ugly. Oh, he's oh, that's God. why he yeah. was on radio, Renee. That's why he's a radio guy. <laughs> That's why I'm in radio. Look at me. I'm hideous. No, you're not guaranteed. Yes. Oh, you You've got That's a long way for that. Otherwise, I'd be on TV. Well, listen, oh, uh, I was I was good enough for Schmoody, right, Schmoody? <laughs> yes. Uh, hold on a second. Let me talk to Schmoody a second. Uh, uh, I was good enough for you, right? Yes, and you know what? You knew that I liked you because of you and not because you were Alex Bennett. Right. Right. And and she And I think with these news people, it's the fact that they're making the station all that money that they want to wipe it under the rug with corporations, especially with UPS, if a manager screws up, they'll get rid of you. If right. you cost if you're going to cost them money, you can easily be replaced. Yeah, but but, but let's yes, face it, there isn't a driver at UPS who is is as important to the bottom line of UPS as Matt Lauer is to the bottom line of NBC. A lot of managers at UPS yeah. made a lot of money when it went public. Hey, listen, Phil. Absolutely. I've got people raising their hands, and it's important to raise your well, hands friend, tonight. No, because that's what happens when we have a, a royal flush here. Yes, yeah. uh, Patrick has his hand up, and then Bob Eberth had his hand up. Yes, Patrick. Uh, I, my question is, if, like with, I, with the situation with Lauer, I think there should be civil suit done. Uh, by the by, the women that are accusing him, because I think some of them probably could be one. In particular, mm -hmm. I'm curious about the one with the button under the desk that locked the door. Mm -hmm. Is NBC culpable because somebody had to install that? That's from, 
you know, I mean, the company had to approve that. Yeah. And our He's state, not the only one. Lots of executives have them. Yeah, and they could open the door just as easily. Right. Yeah, they but if, that door, it's in prison. If it's under the desk and he's using it in an intimidating way, would that put NBC in hot water as well? Well, let me, say, allowing... let me say this and to any woman. Knew, yeah. If they knew then that some of these women had accused him in the past, even though they said this was the first time, now we're hearing that this isn't the first time he was accused. So how comfortable would NBC in addition to just yeah? Well, they said uh, current management heard. Yeah, that doesn't mean that past management. That's legally. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, they said they said, they said that in the twenty years of Matt Lauer, no one in current management ah. has heard ah. about blah 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 yeah. blah blah. Uh, you imagine, uh, yes, Bobby, imagine going Bobby, to facilities and putting yeah. in a request for a lock for my. I need a lock for under my desk so I can yeah. lock it up. Well, here, <laughs> let me say this. Hold more. on a second. Hold on a second. For every woman who's. Oh, we, I think we lost Moody here. Uh, for every woman who's listening out there, if you ever go into that guy's room and he has a lock under his desk and he locks the door and he won't <clears> let you out, you can get the hell out of there eventually and. Turn them into the cops for false imprisonment. Most people Absolutely. have cell phones with them. Yeah, yep. you push 911 and leave it on. Yep. Absolutely. Just drop it to the ground you know. and let them trace but all, your phone. But, but all I'm saying is, do we have to live with this idea that women are the weaker sex? No, they have, uh, they have chutzpah and they have the ability to say no and they have the ability to say, open that fucking door, you schmuck. You yeah. know? Uh, yes, now, Bob, you had your hand up. A lot of this boils down to ad revenues. Farley outpace settlement costs. Oh, yeah, that's uh, a good point. It's a very good point. It's a very yeah. good point. Well, you know, you know, I mean, in the case of Charlie Rose, I mean, I've talked to people in the business in the last week who said everybody knew about Charlie Rose. All the women knew stay away from Charlie Rose. You know, this has been <clears> going on for years. So, I mean, uh, uh, come on. You know, where where were the companies doing something about it? Where were the women kicking him in the balls? I mean, nobody was doing any of this. And I don't think we can just blame men for this. I think we have to blame commerce and institutions and the yep. way of doing business in this country where the dollar is more important than a person's soul. So uh, party before country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You socialists yeah. will never blame the person. You always want to blame the inanimate object. That's right. Yes, Jeff. I, I think that one of the things that we, we forget is that the 50s and 60s culture allowed this stuff to happen all the time. The man and if one manager got in trouble with a woman, I'll call it a secretary, whatever, they fired. you know what happened? She got fired. Yeah. That's what remember happened. The show, Mad Men? I remember yeah. seeing this this pattern back from the information that I was getting back in the 1920s and, and way back then. This has always been prevalent. Once the women have gotten into the workforce, this becomes a really big deal because men used to hold the hierarchy in every freaking thing. Our mistake so, was giving them the right to vote. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, yes, Charlene. <laughs> You know, I saw today that uh, they're investigating the settlement, how much money the government has spent, you know, settling cases because they settle like these times. Yeah. They settle and them they all the time. They want to stop that now. Yeah. That they, you know, we're the, we're the taxpayers, the government is not going to foot the bill for all these people that have indiscretions. Then they have to settle it. Well, you know, the, the settlement, the settlement, in, 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 the settlement in and of itself is a scam in that there are some people that will know, hey, I can charge somebody with something to the government and they will then try and buy me out. OK. Yep. Uh, right. And and I don't have to do anything for it. I just have to have a lawyer who gets 25 percent or well, whatever. What two people did to Conyers. All those 33. women. Uh, and now he's in the hospital with stress related uh, issues. He's in hospital because he's 88 years old. Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, what is a guy doing in Congress? 50 years. 88 years old. I mean, uh, far be it for me to be an ageist, but 88 
if I were in Congress, I'd be out of there by now. You well, know, Strom Thurmond was a hundred, wasn't he? Uh, Strom Thurmond, I think, made ninety-eight yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he was very productive, though. He needed the money. <laughs> yes, he was, uh, wasn't uh, he? He needed the money. He had a lot of divorce. Uh, divorce. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I mean, you know, and it, you know, he had all those old Ku Klux Klan outfits to keep clean. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, but I was talking a little bit about how difficult, if you were a government worker, it would be for you to bring this up about your boss. And I was listening to NPR today, and that's exactly what they were talking about. And one of the things that they said that made it because we were they were all talking about the Anita Hill trial. OK, and how mm. ugly that was for women and how ridiculous it was that she had to be up there. Anyway, to make a long story short, that the whole thing about this is that if I bring something against another government employee in the House or the Senate, I can take them through all of the trial stuff. But I have to show up every single day and work that same job with that same person. Well, you know something? It, so ju it just hit me, though. She, 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 work it, ju it just hit me that we actually have a Supreme Court justice that harassed women. Right. Yes. Not, that was accused of harassing women. He, he, no. he was not convicted. He was accused, but 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 he was accused. Oh, Matt Lauer's just simply been accused. Uh, uh, Charlie Rose simply accused. Yeah, uh, everybody. Like all the way, these people. Uh, he opened a Coke can or something. Yeah. yeah. But Al Franken is and is willing to go under go into into court and talk about this. Wait, so, and more women came That's out the, against Al Franken. Al, you know, you know what the yeah. problem is. Here, here's the problem. Uh, uh, because this onus is so terrible uh, and the way it's being handled, and somebody called it the new McCarthyism, and it really is in many ways because people are being accused but not being tried. Okay, it's another Salem witch trial. Although there's no trial. No, see, those are two different things. Okay, but anyway, let, let, let me fi let me finish what, what I'm saying here. Let me finish the thought. The point is that uh, because this is becoming so prevalent, the, all these people feel that in their mea culpa they have to apologize to the women involved, and therefore they're kind of in in a way admitting to it. I mean, they'll always add something like Matt Lauer added about, well, this yes. these incidences aren't the way I saw them, but if anybody was hurt, I apologize. My idea, and if I were a lawyer, I would say to these people, don't fucking apologize. Go on the attack for a change. You know, I think Al Franken should have gone on the attack because this woman was obviously a right winger who wanted to make him look bad. Well, Trump went on the attack and you attacked him. No, see, exactly. You don't go on the attack. If you're an adult male, you say, do exactly what Louis C.K. did. Try to do what Al Franken is doing. I'm But Al idiot. Franken, I'm the question is, what did Al Franken do? To begin with, she knew that photograph was being taken. Somebody, the right. guy who took it said it was being taken as a gag. And then but secondly... Everything else is up to up for question. It's a he said, she said situation with a woman who went on Hannity a couple of years back and said she believed that Do Barack Obama wasn't born in the United States. You know, she's yeah, a right wing really nut. Is. He Did, is open uh, to the process of clearing everything up. And then in this country, you, that's what you do. Didn't more women come out against Al Franken today? Yes. Yeah, I heard. That. It's but it's just yeah, you know, patting on the butt or something, and that's their interpretation of what happened. Well, it's all been patting on the yeah, butt. Yeah, and it, Franken didn't do anything, anything. You know, he he. You don't you don't weigh he these. You don't weigh these things all with the same weight. This is he's. That's what he, I want to know. Let me put it this that's, way: He's no Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, no Harvey Weinstein. Yet. Kevin, you had your hand up. Yeah, you know, the, the, the reason I think most of these people are coming out and saying, yeah, because in, in the last 10, 15 years, uh, the company culture was also to come out, stand up, apologize, and it'll go away faster. And that's what I think these guys are trying to do. It doesn't, it saying, doesn't okay, work in this situation. And it'll go away faster. Doesn't, Recalls, things like that. Yeah. All the same kind of thing. If you admit to it and... Fess up to it and try and fix it real quick. It'll go away. But it doesn't. It's not but it, but it, yeah. It, but it only well, works. He's. But he, it only works at a particular level of, of, 
of, of, of offense. I understand. This only work at the CK level. This will only okay. work at the at, at uh, Franken's level. It's right. not going to work at these really bad levels that are way above that. So where do we where do we I'm stand now? Trying. You know, this all started with me accu uh, with me accusing somebody of being a bigot when it came to men, and I think there is such a thing. Uh, and and uh, where you where you're making gen rash generalizations about guys, Patrick said he was bothered by it. You know, uh, I've been bothered by it. I was so bothered by it last night. I called uh, I called the person on the carpet. You know, uh, because I just don't feel I feel that we are now in a period in which men, me, I'm a guy. We guys are being assailed and unfairly because I don't think there's anybody on this panel who has ever done anything like any of the things these guys have been accused of. But yes, I wanted Pat to. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> and, and remember, the guts. for years, is lumping anybody in any category. And this is just the newest one. And I, I think it's bullshit. Yeah. Because I, I defy anybody to look into my past and to find something. You know, I mean, it. Don't put me in the that is, that's, that's not to say, though, Patrick, that there isn't some woman out there who might accuse you of it because, Absolutely. you know. But, but the thing is, no. I'm so out looking for this shit. We don't go oh, out and oh, say, bullshit. Patrick B my ass. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. Do that. I, do I, as somebody who was in the public eye, I am someone who, if I were still in the public eye, I'm sure there was some nutcase I went out with once, and I know at least one or two women who are crazy enough, was who I stalker? had completely consensual relationships with. No, not the stalker. I had completely consensual relationships with. In fact, they pursued me, but I bet they would come forward today and say, Alex Bennett uh, did this improperly with me, and I, you know, I, you know, I just th know that there are going to be, I I'm, I'm know that even in the case of, say, a Matt Lauer or a Charlie Rose or whatever, a few of these accusers are remembering things wrong, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, now that's not to say these guys haven't had a, a history of being serial harassers, but... Well, what happened you know. to the basketball player there? Uh, yeah, what happened? Which... The, this was a bunch of years ago. He was brought up on charges for rape. Kobe charges. Bryant. Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Yes. Yeah. Those doesn't happen. It happens plenty, and it happens over money. It happens over anger. It happens. Yeah. I challenge and you, the problem Renee. is today, uh, and then I'll go to Patrick, and then I'll go to Renee, but the problem today is that if a guy is accused by a woman of something like this, it's the guy's job to prove he didn't do it. There's an automatic, but we have to believe the woman. We have Only to believe the woman empirically. So you're going to tell me there aren't women out there that aren't fucking liars? That aren't, uh, aren't people who aren't trying to get even with a guy? You think that statement's correct? What? You didn't leave us for the last 50 years. Well, yeah, but, 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 but making up for it, making it up for it now in, in ways that would, would not be right uh, and and would be tipping the balance of truth the wrong way is not the and way stop, you solve the problem. Stop acting like this is an assault on all men. It is an assault on all men. No, it's not. Just listen to the the garbage come out of Amy uh, Manuel's mouth, and you will hear it being it's not and not aimed at all is men. not an assault but if you, if i use that uh, logic then why don't i say every time a woman is raped which by the way is every is eight per every fucking second in the planet mm -hmm. that and then you're raping every one of us and then that would make it i don't know every woman's been raped by men but you see you, men, see, well, you, you, you have to you have to do talk say. Uh, you know, it, it's much harder for a guy to get raped than for a woman to get raped. Let me put it that way. And it has nothing to do with guys. Same statement. This is the same you know. statement. I keep asking you, why is it that you're taking this so personally? I take it personally because I think I, I, the guys I know wouldn't think of engaging in any of this kind of behavior. Absolutely. So you know, and, 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 and I don't like the way somebody like Amy pa paints us with all with the same brush. You know, oh, she is a bigot. She is a bigot. She is a bigot. She's as bad as any anti-Semite I've ever known. Yes. Because was in the public light, he feels vulnerable, and he sees the vulnerability that these other people are experiencing. You know. Yeah. Uh, Patrick. Patrick. Patrick's, Patrick's got. Calendar. Yeah. 
Uh, Renee, yeah. come on. Pa- Patrick's no, uh, the By the way, I have. Okay, Patrick has it. Uh, hey, everybody! Patrick has his hand up. Damn it! Go ahead, Patrick. The, 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 the word that struck me last night, coming out of Amy's mouth when she accused every male, or ninety-eight point nine percent of the males, whatever it was, that she said are, are guilty of this shit, is when you. I don't know if it was you or if it was Jack. Cause you may have hung up already, but. He, one of you two said, well, what do you want, or what is this? And she said, justice. Well, you know what justice is a, is a cover word for? Revenge. Getting back at, and, and attacking and really? painting what, what a wide brush. I don't understand that. Revenge. I don't think that's what, well, I don't think that word means what you think it means. It, 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 well, just, like justice is when the bad are punished and the good are not punished and rewarded, okay. perhaps. Uh, so... And, our and, buddy Brian, mm-hmm. our buddy Brian posted. And you want want to see Renee go all out bad, bad, bad? Our buddy Brian posted a picture on the wall on his Facebook page, and it is it says something about this is what, but this is how much clothes you allow a woman to wear. Anyway, it was sexist. This was a incredibly well proportioned male in all aspects and you should go to his wall and try to find it it is gorgeous it is absolutely yep oh. i remember that i don't like uh, uh, objectifying men's penises are you renee you're no, women are pigs. they took that thing because it was long enough and they gift wrapped that puppy. all you women are pigs you know <laughs> all you women yeah that's the way you are you know what Alex. yeah girlfriend has kept wanting to have more penis on hbo and and now she's finally getting it uh <laughs> Alex, <laughs> she can't look at the person next to her in bed, but you know she wants to see it on HBO. Yes, Charlene. <laughs> Here's a good one. Did you hear? Is this fake news? Ron Jeremy. Now people are coming out and say he he sexually abused or assaulted women. <laughs> no, I saw this on my phone and it was hysterical. Like oh, uh, he go to porn conventions I, I, and I, sign I, their breasts. Well, and, let, you know. He was a, yeah, uh, 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 I, I, I know Ron. I'm trying to think. Could I consider anything he did assault? I could think of making me want to vomit, but not assault. Um, I mean, back hair alone, it just, 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 yeah, yeah. I swear to God, I saw this thing. Women are starting to come out, and he admits that he has been. Well, it's oddly enough, in the in the porn <laughs> business, in the porn business, there have been a couple of people. Uh, 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 it called out uh, it, before this whole thing went down as being, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, James Dean. He's a uh, not the original James Dean. This one, D E E N, uh, and uh, to our dismay, he's a Jew as well. Um, he he was accused by several women of uh, being too aggressive and things like that. But you know, they're making porn films, and so you got to question: Is is there such a thing as Sexual abuse in porn films, which Probably I think there lot. is. I think there is. I, I is would, there a director? No, he's, he's the dire- he's the director of his own films. But I mean, right. it, the question is, uh, you know, uh, can a woman in porn say I was abused by this guy because I told him to stop or I didn't want to do that and he made me do it? Okay, I was thinking the same thing. You know, it, well, and I and I think the answer is yes. It, and was, but, but, but I mean. If she read the script and it was in the script, then, you know. No, there is. What script? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here oh, you go, ooh, baby, and there you oh, go, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me, fuck you me, talks. fuck me. And now the boy says, <laughs> okay, you- I will. Here, take it, bitch. <laughs> you <know. laughs> you want to see it. <laughs> that was in writing. And, and is that the Trump version of, of porn movie? Yeah. Um, you tell a story about... Um, when you stop filming the S and M oh, people, oh yeah, because yeah. at some point, talk, yeah, yeah. So I'm if you well, let me, well, let me just line. quickly tell that story. I was I was uh, shooting. Uh, it was towards the end of my days at Midnight Blue, and we went out on a shoot in an S and M club, and uh, we came to in with our cameras, and we set up, and we had, were running the camera, and this guy brings out this woman, and then proceeds to beat the shit out of her, and it's getting so bad that I finally said to the crew, turn off the lights, 
turn off the camera. We're only encouraging this behavior. And I said, that's it for me. This is my last shoot. And we left. Because I just said that, you know, were the cameras not there, he would not have been as harsh with this woman. But because the cameras were there, it exacerbated the situation. So that's the story you're talking about, right, uh, Renee? Yeah, yeah. It was my Jesus come to prayer moment or something. I don't know what you call it. Christian you say speech. this is my last show every night. Well, that was my that was the last shoot I did for Midnight Blue. I mean, I just said, I said, that's it. That's pretty much it. You know, I'm leaving town anyway. And I, I just, you know, I, I don't want to go somewhere and in, encourage. And while I understand S&M, and if someone wants to get the shit beaten out of her, that's her right. You know, that's her Alex, sexual proclivity. Was, but, but I don't have to be a party to it. Was that know? what they call BDSM or something? Yeah, now? yeah, like, yeah. And it's, shades of gray or... You know, and it's not like I haven't had rough sex relationships with women and things like that. Hell, I've been married several times. But um, boom. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I uh, it, it's just that I didn't want to be a party to that in that particular. And she, he was beating the shit out of her. I yes. mean, and it was getting worse because we were filming it. You know, and so I felt like we were a party yeah. to this, and I didn't want. I didn't want to do that. So so we stopped the cameras, and yeah. we never ran the segment either. Yes, Jeff? Yeah, I saw the same thing on the street on, on 7th Avenue one day. Yeah. And uh, it's going, you know, it's going on, and they're kind of walking and arguing and punching her, and I'm going, holy crap. <laughs> and I'm with a bunch of other people. What I did was I went across the street, Mm -hmm. And I went around and I found where there was a cop. Yeah. And I said, this guy is beating up this lady. Could you please stop it? Yeah. And uh, at least it stopped. Yeah. Well, Momentarily, yeah. I would guess. Well, you had to do what you had to do. You yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for helping another human. Yeah. Male uh, or yeah. male. I know. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what have we learned here tonight? That all women are pigs, and um, <laughs> that men are whiners. Show them and the every no, little I, thing affects every little one of them. Yeah, sorry. Well, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> everything's normal. It, 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 my question is: Is this whole thing that's going on now just another form of nagging? I just want to know. Uh, oh, how's that for a sexist remark? Uh, yeah. Alex, there's going to be a pussy march in New York soon. Really? Oh. This is coming up. Good. And how many, how many guys are going to be in it? Thank I got you. I hat ready. Yeah. Uh, yes, P Patrick. You know who hasn't weighed in on this whole thing and I think would be a very good uh, professional opinion? Mm -hmm. It's Dr. Drew Pinsky. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Uh, yeah, I, that's a good point. How come we haven't heard from him? He's right. always he, he's he's, the, he's a media whore. He's a media whore. Be the next guy that they come out against. Uh, no, he's, he knows that his he knows that his his doctorate. Well, is let's the see here. Uh, uh, Matt Lauer knew that twenty million uh, was on the line. Till you know, I heard that twenty-two uh, million. Well, we had Russell Simmons also today too. Yes, I Rob. There are some real just you know. Uh, uh, mind-blowing people who are, you know, they're, that the press is working on, and like uh, Matt Lauer was one of them, there are going to be others. We're tired of this shit. Well, you know, when are they going to get Post around, tracks. when are they going to get around to Trump? There have been about 16 accusations against him. That's okay, he's only president. He's only president, exactly. That's a pass. He's, not, he's a big president. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Mike. You've been a little quiet tonight, but that's fine, you know. I always like seeing you up there in the upper square. For some reason, you always wind up in that square. I don't know why. Uh, and, and, of course, thank you very much, of course, Rob. We really appreciate it. By the way, I have some scripts I'm going to write up in the next couple of days and get them to you because okay. we could sure use your voice again. Patrick, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure. And uh, Bob Ebert, nice to see that you. we had you two nights in a row. Great. Keep calling. Renee, always a pleasure to have you here on the distaff side. Uh, Phil Meyer, thank you. Charlene, thank you. Jeff Stein, thank you. And thank you, Kevin. Everybody, 
wave a big goodbye to all the people out there. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna sign off the uh, uh, the Skype, and we're gonna relinquish it. So the next show, which is Jack and the uh, Bigot, uh, over most of these same uh, GabNet uh, uh, stations. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett uh, at one connections i'll see you again tomorrow night same time and same station in life in the meantime if you see her tell her i love her okay bye